Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to partition your drive um, so you can install another operating system. I know a lot of you guys updated to El Capitan and are having issues either with Serato or some other program. This is always a great practice um, going forward so you have two operating systems to choose from. All right. So basically what you're doing is you're taking your hard drive and you're splitting it in two and then you're going to install a different operating system on the other side so when you boot up the computer you'll have two to choose from. You want to uh, open up Finder, go to your Applications folder, go to the Utilities folder, open up Disk Utility right here, and once you're here you'll see your hard drives over here on the left hand side. You want to click on the very first one, the top one, and then you'll see this button here that says Partition. Go ahead and click on that. Now this is the area where you're actually going to partition the drive. All right, This picture here is an example of the drive you currently have. And this blue here is how much room you have filled up on that drive. This white is how much room you have left. All right, So when you're installing an operating system, you want to at least have, I would say, 50 gigs to be on the safe side to have enough room. Okay, So your partition should at least be 50 gigs. And in here, it says that there's 135 gigs available space. So I'm going to create a 50 gigabyte partition so I can install an older operating system. First thing you want to do is click on this button here and you'll automatically see that it created a second hard drive and it made it um, as big as uh, the available space that I had, 135. I want to make that smaller so I'm just going to click here and drag down and then put my mouse back on it and see how big it is, 75. I only want to make it about 50 gigs for this example, 52 gigs, and that's totally fine there. So you're going to go ahead and hit apply. It says partition this disk will change some of the partitions. No partitions will be erased. Okay, partition. All right, once the partitioning is done, go ahead and click on the apple here and click restart. Okay, let the computer restart and kind of reboot to refresh itself. Once it starts back up, um, you should see these two hard drives on your desktop. Okay, you should see two hard drives on your desktop. If you do not see these here, then go ahead and click on Finder. Click on Finder up at the top at the header. Click on Preferences and this option here that says Show these items on the desktop, hard disks. Make sure that's checked because obviously if it's not checked, it makes the hard disks go away. Right, so make sure that's checked. If you see these two drives here, they might have different names or whatever, but if you see two drives here, you have successfully created a partition. All right, so now we're moving on to the next step. Now go ahead and put in your install CD for Snow Leopard, Yosemite, Mountain Lion, whatever operating system you have on CD. Go ahead and put the CD in, and you should see the CD, the install CD kind of pop up here. If you do not have the CD, then you'll need to download um, the operating system that you want uh, from somewhere online. So if you have the CD here, go ahead and double click on the CD and start the install process. If you downloaded the file, it's going to be in your downloads folder. Find it here, double click on it, and start the install process. Okay, eventually you're going to get to a screen that looks like this. Okay, this is a picture of OSX Mountain Lion being installed on a second drive. Okay, this might say a different name here, just depends which operating system you're trying to install. But anyway, you'll get to this page. And what it says here, it says OSX will be installed on the disk, and then it gives you the name of the disk. So you would click on the second hard drive, and then click Install, and continue the process. You're telling the computer that you do not want it installed where El Capitan is on the first drive. You want it installed on the new drive that you just made. So go ahead and go through that process, and the computer um, is more than likely going to restart. Okay. And it's going to restart and probably bring you back to El Capitan or this page. Okay, so from here, the only thing you have to do is hold down the Alt Option key when you turn on the computer. So if I wanted to boot in my other operating system right now, all I would do is click here, click Restart, and as soon as the computer screen shuts down and it starts to turn back on, you want to hold down the Alt Option key on the keyboard. Keep holding it down until you see the two hard drives show up 
and then you can use the left and right arrows to choose Capitan or to choose the other operating system.